bam. I don't know why I didn't do this when I first got my boat. I was aware of it, but I really didn't understand exactly how it works. But, so let me tell you, the, the power pole gateway is really cool because it integrates with Lowrance or Garmin. I've got the Garmin. I'm gonna show you how it integrates with that. And you can tap into your charge, tap into your poles. You can see all the displays on the screen and there's all kinds of settings that you can do. And if you even have, the, I don't have the Garmin trolling motor, but if you have the Garmin trolling motor and Garmin graphs, you can integrate everything together and do some really, really cool stuff. So let me just, let me just show you what's in this box here. First of all, it's the gateway. It, it taps in through your NEMA 2000 system. Uh, so this is it right here. It comes with the little two mounting holes. So you really need to mount it somewhere that you can get to it and then tap it into your NEMA system. What is the NEMA? The NEMA is the quite antiquated, honestly, uh, system that plugs into your, uh, like your network that your units talk to each other on Garmin, Lowrance, any of that. A lot of the boats now, uh, Rangers and, and some others, have the NEMA system as part of the, the way that the boat talks to each other. But the, So these are the little NEMA plugs. Uh, and then you'll find the little, the little NEMA chain, which has to be powered. All that stuff should be already hooked up. So when you're hooking this up, you just need to unplug the one on the, the end, put this on the second one to the end, uh, we'll plug this in. I'll show you how this all works, but that's all it comes with. And then it comes with this little this little magnet right here. It's a pairing magnet. And then when you want to pair this with whichever uh, power pole product or Garmin, whatever you're trying to do, you just, you, you, wing, you just run that in front of it. And then it will pair with your charge or your power pole pumps uh, or both. And, and it will display that stuff. So follow along, pretty easy install, not, not thinking it's gonna take a long time. And then we'll show you exactly what it does. All right, here we go. We're under the console of my, my Bass Cat. And you can see up in there, right in there, that's the end of my NEMA chain. That's where I'm gonna plug into for that gateway. And then I'm gonna mount that gateway probably like right here up under my console. Maybe right there, maybe right there. I'm gonna mount it somewhere up under there so I can easily see it and get to it and um, be able to program that bad boy. So follow along. Voila, we got it mounted right there. And we've got the the T plugged in right there. And then it, that cable runs right around to the, the gateway. Uh, you you don't want to mount this anywhere near a magnet, so that's why I moved it kind of as far away from you know the graphs and any of this you know my console. Tried to get it down there away from that. As you can see, it's pretty pretty inconspicuous down there. But so we're going to turn these garments on, and I'll show you what it does. Be uh be pretty cool. Okay, once you get it connected, you'll go here and you go to your NEMA 2000 devices. And you look to make sure that, there it is, JL Marine Power Pole Sea Monster Gateway. Okay, so we got that connected. Now we gotta pair the gateway with the power pole units. All right, so once you get that, um, that thing uh, paired up, you're gonna, you're gonna take the, the pairing, stick it in front of that, the little gateway until the light goes solid. I just did this, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you run back and hit the button on top of your power pole charge so that when you open up your um, your menu, I'll show you what it looks like. So you come here and you hit toolbar. And then there you go. You've got down here, you got different ones. You can select anchor. Power pole anchors are connected. Your charge, your tides currents we're going to go to charge here's your power pole charge and then we're going to hit add it's going to add it to the top of this screen right here so i can see exactly what's going on with my power pole charge while going down the lake that is really slick and then i can go in here to power through there hit anchors and i can add those to the bottom so that i can lower 
lower your anchors. Once you get, you know, once they're all connected, you lower them, up, raise them, whatever, through that. That is how it works. Anchors are on there, the left one, right one, obviously. We just have to make sure that they, they get paired up exactly the same way as the charge. Also, while you're on here, you hit that button right there, it says energy tra emergency transfer. Uh, but right there, you can hit that and you can see it's throwing juice over here to your cranking battery if you need to do that. So I turned it off, uh, but that's a little emergency transfer. If you have a worried about your 12 volt getting too low, you can pull juice from that side, push it over there. Pretty awesome. And then this, these buttons right here, it's, it's showing that there's balance power, one amp of power, 3.2 amps of power. I think it's going that direction keeping it keeping it balanced pretty slick so that's all there is to uh, that power pole gateway pretty simple to install pretty easy um, once you uh, get it connected through the with the charge um, it's it's pretty simple I mean this this thing could take you 15 20 minutes tops depending on your configuration and how easy it is to get to your NEMA network so if you have any questions drop it down there if I don't know the answers I'll try to find out for you uh, if I do know the answer, I'll drop it down there for you. But appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll do some more cool stuff for our boat here before too long.